We have come to worship you, Lord. 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 We lift you higher and higher and higher. We lift you higher and higher. Yes. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I am coming on here early this morning because I have a special thing I'm going to be doing today. So for those of you who know, I have written a book. And the book is called Get Your Healing, A Guide to Gain and Maintain Healing. And it is basically ba uh, the, the, the motivation for me writing this book was because I want to see people let go of their past, heal from what's happened, and move forward. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Ashley. So what I need for you to do is to go to the top of my page. There's a post that's pinned there and there are some instructions. I need for you to go to that top. If you live in the United States, I need for you to go to the top of that page, uh, to that post and follow the instructions. There is a, good morning, Mirab. There is a reason behind why I am, again, encouraging you to go to that post and, uh, and, and put a comment. Here's one reason, because we need to focus on what we're th grateful for, the testimonies of what God has done in our lives, right? Because so many times, it's e I know for me, it's easy to get caught up in maybe what's not going right or what doesn't go according to what I thought it should. And then I, then I easily d ignore the things that God has done in my life. And so I am being very intentional about helping people be thankful for what God has done and to share a testimony. So I encourage you this morning, go to the top of my page and follow the instructions that are posted there and, and, and do a comment. And this afternoon, I'm not sure what time, maybe one, maybe two, Central Standard Time, I'm going to come back on and we're going to talk about the testimonies. And so I would like for you to come if you are, live in the United States. Okay, this is only for people who live in the United States. I have several friends that live outside of the country. However, um, I mean, people that live outside the United States, you can still put a comment there. You'll understand why I'm saying this later, okay? Um, but I want people to be motivated to give, give a testimony. Hey, Carmen Gonzalez, thanks for coming in. I want people to be motivated to give a testimony because it gives glory and honor to God because it shifts our focus from maybe some negative things to positive things that God has done for us. And it's encouraging to other people. So other people read your, read your comments and they are encouraged. They get faith, you know, their faith is built. And so um, that's why I am 
encouraging you to go to the post that's pinned to the top of my page and to comment, follow the instructions, comment and follow the instructions. So um, you, you will see later on, good morning, Allison. You'll see later on why it's so important for, uh, for you to go to that post if you haven't already and comment something you're grateful for or a testimony of something that God has done. I believe it's either one. And you know what, because I'm saying this now, it's either one. If you do either one, then um, you'll, see, you'll see what happens this afternoon when I come on and, um, and, and begin to talk about testimonies. And um, so I just wanted to come in real quickly. Uh, I am on my way uh, to town. And so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to just share my heart about testimonies and to get you motivated to shift your focus from maybe something that didn't happen the way that you had hoped or maybe something that went all wrong (laughs) and to put your focus on what God has done in your life or something that you're grateful for. There, this is, this is something that we need in our day. This is something we've needed for a very long time. And people have not, uh, they have not focused on what is good or, or the things that are uh, positive. Because let's face it, it's easier to focus on negative. Am I right? It's easier for you to make it to, to account to make an account for things that are wrong. Yep, the top of my Facebook page, there is a post that's pinned there and it's it's testimony, testimony days or something like that. I just, I I named it testimony days. I was gonna say testimony Tuesday, uh, but it's Wednesday. And I actually posted that a week ago and was hoping that I would get more response. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't get a whole lot of response. And so that's why I made a post the other day saying, hey, you guys do this. I had one or two people go and do it. And then now, you know, I'm like, well, I, I really believe that there's more people out there that are thankful or grateful for, you know, something in their life. It could be something as simple as I'm grateful that God woke me up today. Or it can be something very specific, like I'm, I'm thankful for, you know, um, God provide, or, you know, that, that you had a need. Um, that I have a need. And the Lord came through, you know, the Lord supplied. I had, there was money that was needed, or there was uh, food that was needed, or there was, you know, vehicle repair that was needed. And God provided, or, you know, it can be either one of those things. You know, I'm grateful for something or a testimony of something that God has done. Um, Right. You're not your situation. And, you know, here's the thing. Uh, You're not defined by what you've done either. That's a big one for me. You know, you may look at me and say, oh, she's an amazing woman of God. She's a pastor. And and all this kind of stuff. But you know, I struggled too. I've sinned too. I've made choices to do things that God is not pleased with. And you might be sitting there saying, no, not you. Yes, me. And I require a repentant heart in order to get the the forgiveness that God has available to me. I require a repentant heart. I have to turn from the sin that so easily besets me and I need to put my face in the word of God and I need to be um, intentional about washing my mind because of thoughts that come with his word. I need to be intentional about shifting my focus when temptation comes so that I can be victorious over sin. I need to intentionally put the word of God in me when I don't need it 
So it'll be there when I do need it. Do you know that I used to memorize scripture and anyone who knows me, my family, knows that I was part of the Bible quizzing team from my church. And I memorized scripture upon scripture. Now my sister, my little sister, she memorized way more scriptures than I did, but I still memorize scripture. And I will tell you this, that there have been times in my life when I've needed those scriptures and because they were in my heart, because they were in my heart, I was able to recall them at a time when I needed them. Did I need them necessarily when I was a, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager? I mean, maybe, but I tell you what, the Lord has brought back to my memory a scripture when I've needed it, either when it's been something I'm struggling with or when it's been something that someone else needed. Like I've been in a conversation and you know, I may not have thought of that scripture in years and all of a sudden, bam, it just comes to me. And I may not get it verbatim, but I get the gist of it. And then, you know, I'll be like, wait, let me go look that up so I can make sure that we're getting the content and the, the context of that scripture so that we can be strengthened. You know, and so um, I want to encourage you, hey, Bobby Sue, to go to the top of my Facebook page. I'm going to say it again and follow the instructions. Later on today, this afternoon, I'm going to be doing another live and I'm, and, and I'm going to be talking about testimonies. I'm going to be talking about what God has done in my life. I'm going to be talking about things I'm grateful for. And you're not go- and, and, and you're going to ha- you you're going to enjoy this. It's going to help you. It's going to build your faith. And so I, I, that's what I'm about today. And that's what I've been about actually for a very long time is about building people's faith and sharing the gospel, the good news of what God has done in my life. He saved me and he you know, like the, just the, the general things that he's done and maybe some specific things. I may, show, I may share some specific testimonies uh, of, you know, what God has done in my life. I, I really don't know what God is going to have me do, but there is something. And so I, that's why I'm saying it's so important for you to go to the top of my Facebook page because I want you, I want you to be involved in this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of you that made a comment today because I want you to be involved or at least have, you know, have direct access to the live that I do later. Um, Because I'm gonna take each of you that are on my friends list and I'm going to um, do the live and I'm gonna tag you. I'm gonna tag all of you that do the comment, that do follow the instructions on the post that's pinned to the top of my page. So, I love each of you so much, and I am so grateful for you coming in this morning. I'm encouraged because uh, when the Lord does something, he does it all the way. And so I am doing this because I, you know, I did a post and then I encouraged people in another post to come to that and follow the instructions. And now I'm doing a live and I'm saying with my voice that you need to go and follow the instructions on the post that's pinned to the top of my page. And you will understand why this is so important when you you hear the live that I do later. So I love each of you and I am, uh, I'm so thankful. Uh, I'm grateful for each of you. I'm grateful for what God is doing in your life. And even when it doesn't look like it, he's working. Even when it doesn't seem like it, he is working on your behalf. You know, most of the growth in a plant in its early life, it happens underneath the ground and you don't see it. When the roots are growing and, um, you know, when the roots are growing down and when, um, you know, the, the nutrients is getting to the plant and and it's all of all the formidable things that happen with a plant happen underground and it's not until you it's not until it breaks the ground and begins to grow and mature 
that you begin to see the fruit of it, whether that's a flower or whether that's, you know, some type of vegetable or, uh, you know, for fruit, it's actually longer because the tree has to grow. And usually the tree doesn't produce fruit for a long time. So you're waiting a long time for that fruit to show, but the work is happening. The things are going on in the tree that produce the fruit when the season comes. And so I just want to encourage you, let's plant seeds of gratefulness. Let's plant testimony seeds because people will read those testimonies because I'll tell you what, I know that people go back like years later and read a post and like it and make a comment. Yet the other day I had uh, a post that I had done uh, maybe two or three years ago and somebody commented, liked it and commented on it last week. This was years ago. So the things that I posted years ago are still affecting people. And it's because I have learned to be grateful and to post things that are encouraging. And so when they go to my page, what they see is encouraging. When they go to my page, what they see is gratefulness. What they see is a testimony. What they see is a posit- something positive that they can take and apply to their life. And so I just want to encourage you, let's, you know, I, I'm not going to say uh, be part of my community and let's be grateful. There's someone that already has a grateful community and she's amazing. Her name is Larissa Tricor and she is an amazing woman of God and I absolutely love her. Um, however, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not building a, a community for you to join. What I'm doing is cultivating a lifestyle for each of you so that on your own, you will do this regularly. You will put a testimony out there on your page. You will share a scripture maybe, or you will, um, you will, uh, say something you're grateful for on your page. And then people will see that and be encouraged, you know, and you know, yeah, there's those occasional people that might be like, well, it must be nice to have a testimony. Well, you know what? That's because they need healing and you can just pray for them and bless them. Uh, but the majority of people, when they see a testimony will be grateful for you. Hey, Alicia, most of the people that will read a testimony or something that you're grateful for will be glad, will be happy, right? And and then that will, you know, when you do something positive, it breeds positivity. It Other people wanna be positive. There's something about being positive that, that encourages other people to be positive. And so this is, this is why I have started this and, um, I'm just thankful that you guys were all able to come on here. If you didn't catch the whole thing, go back and catch the replay. It's not very long. Go back and catch the replay and uh, you'll be blessed. And um, while you're blessed, you'll be a blessing. Because that's the reason why God blesses us is so we can be a blessing. And so... You know, just know that when you focus, when you shift your focus onto something that you're grateful for, the things that have happened in your life or the things that happened yesterday that maybe didn't go the way you planned it, won't seem so big. The things in your life that, you, that, that have happened that maybe have been traumatic, if you shift your focus and you focus on what God is doing and what God can do, even, even you know, making a faith statement about what God can do can shift your focus and put you in a place where you can receive healing. And so I'm just thankful for you guys. Thanks for coming in. I'm about to be at my destination. And so I want to encourage you and let you know um, that uh, I love you and I want you to have a great day today. And, um, I will see you later on um, when I come back on live and I do my post.
All right. You guys have a great day.